Hey everyone, QB King 77 here again from the ACS team here to do a review video on the Epic Venom ROM for the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This ROM has two versions, there's a lean ROM and an original ROM. The lean ROM has a lot removed, you won't have a, a digital clock, weather buddies, Gmail, analog clock, uh, you won't have widgets, you won't have any sprint stuff, um, and there's just a little bit more, but the lean one really has a lot removed. You won't have sounds either, so that's a big one. So you don't have any sounds if you install the lean ROM. So keep that in mind, you must have a sound on your SD card or download one from the market for notifications, alarms, etc. So make sure you do uh, keep that in mind when you install this ROM if you choose to install the lean ROM. I installed the regular one so it should have everything included. But uh, there, you, that's just a quick overview for those two versions. But anyways, first impressions, nice uh, skull type background there, very nice. Um, otherwise you can also see the icons are all themed. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are themed. So that's very cool. Uh, you have the TouchWiz launcher, but with some added icons at the bottom. So you got Calculin's TouchWiz modification launcher. So you got five icons. Your app drawer should have more. As you can see, it has a lot more icons in the app drawer as well. Otherwise, up at the status bar, let's go ahead and check it out. Very cool battery icon right there. I, my guess is it animates when I charge it. I'm going to try and plug it in and see if it charges and animates. So it uh, uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Yep, it does. So there you go. You got an animating charging icon right there. Otherwise, uh, as you, otherwise, nice light blue color to it with the battery percentage modification in the middle. Light blue, lighter blue signal bar, six of them. Nice 3G icon. I'm going to go to the internet, and then you can see it light up once it uses data. So there you go, red and blue light up when it uses data. Otherwise, let's go ahead and swipe down. You got the quick panel widgets up at the top, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, and 4G. All of them are themed, as you can see. So very nice theme to those. I believe they'll light up different colors. GPS is green, Bluetooth is blue. Uh, just, you got those different color options. So that's very nice. Uh, the rest of the notification bar, as you can see, it is a little bit transparent. It's got a, a bluish tint to it. But it's got a nice curved design at the bottom here and up at the top. So it's just an overall pretty neat theme. It's actually a really neat theme for your phone. So that's cool. Otherwise, let's go over some of the icons that are themed. As you can see at the bottom, you got phone icon, messaging icon, email, internet. All of those are themed, which is very nice. I love having themed, themed icons. The phone dialer is themed, as you can see. So very cool there. Go ahead and check out some other things. I don't know if the messaging app is themed. It doesn't look like it, but let's go ahead and try it. So it looks like he included the ice cream sandwich um, keyboard by default, as you can see. It doesn't look so. It, look, it doesn't look like he themed it at all. Oh gosh, I just sent a text message to someone. Oh well. Um, <laughs> sorry for sorry to that number for sending you a text message. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and check out if there's any other icons that are themed. It, with the full, uh, the regular ROM, you got B Weather included, you got uh, Documents to Go, Home Switcher, just some apps that aren't use, usually there. But anyways, you've got themed icons, especially camera, clock, uh, you've got, I don't know what else is themed, settings, messaging, phone, as I said before. So just overall, you got some nice theme icons. So he did a really great job. Nice job to, and thanks to Venom for this ROM. I'm going to hit menu, go to settings. Um, your haptic feedback set off by default. To change that, go to settings, go to sound, and turn, check haptic feedback at the bottom. That'll turn on the haptic feedback for you in case you were wondering. But anyways, um, a nice white overscroll glow for the settings menu. I'm going to go to about phone. And as you can see, Android version 2.3.6, build number, Epic Venom RLA EKO2. So it is an EKO2 bit, uh, based ROM, as I said at the beginning. Um, but that's about it. Just It looks really nice. It seems really fast, really snappy. Definitely something to be checking out. Let's go ahead and see if he included uh, any more wallpapers. I don't, it doesn't look like it, but that's about it. Um, I think he actually might have included a different launch, launcher. I'm gonna go to Home Switcher. So he included ADW Launcher as well. I'm gonna launch that and hit okay. So you got ADW Launcher as an option as well for a, 
a launcher instead if you don't like your Touchwood launcher or you can get one from the market. It's up to you. But that's about it. Otherwise, as tweaks go, you definitely have uh, tweaks that he has added. Um, you got a nice fast system. As I said, the Touchwood launcher is uh, modded. CIQ should be removed. You might see some if you have a CIQ detecting app, but without other parts to it, it can't function. So it might be there, but it won't function. Um, you got some battery profiles to help you save battery. With battery at 185%, you have your uh, CPU running at 1.2 gigahertz from 84 to 36%. You have it running at one gigahertz and 35 to 0%. You have it running at 800 megahertz. You really shouldn't notice too much of a difference in performance, but you will notice a difference in battery life. So that's nice to have. It, I definitely noticed my battery's better with that modification. It removed the camera sound, so when you take a picture, it shouldn't um, make a noise. So let's try that real quick. Perfect. Doesn't make any noise which is nice, it was really a pain how much noise it was making, even if it was on silent, so that was uh, not fun at all. Anyways, that's really about it. Um, you got uh, various tweaks as well to help with battery life and speed, so um, it's been the system's been optimized and every, the apps have been zip aligned as most ROMs are, but anyways, that's about it. Definitely a ROM to check out, it's very cool. You definitely need to make sure you check this ROM out. You, if you don't like the theme, you can always flash an EK02 theme. Just make sure it is compatible with the ROM and you should be ready to go. But that's about it. Be sure to check this out. If you uh, Let me know what you think of the ROM. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. If you have any problems, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up.